Hi everyone, welcome back and thanks for watching Mixer. In this video, I'm going to design upper lower jaw restorations using ExoCAD Virtual Articulator. I'm going to show you how to adjust and use the dynamic occlusion uh, with the add-on module Virtual Articulator that enables me to also check the dynamic occlusion as well as the aesthetic one that we always use in the, uh, during the design. Uh, in, here in the dental DB, I've chosen two stone models in Articulator A. Uh, as a sample, this is an Artex style articulator. So let's start. Look, the current view is good for the insertion direction, and uh, we are gonna start the virtual articulator here. What I need to do is recalculate models virtually because the software enables me now to uh, position the uh, upper and lower teeth in the articulator using the horizontal and also vertical planes. So what I, what I need to do is now to place the upper and lower in the articulator, paying attention to the midline, to the height of the canines. Here in the left side, Vertical plane is also a useful one for the so-called, let's say, uh, midline of the patient. Okay. Yeah, here are my here are my models and the virtual articulator movements are now starting. It takes some time. Can also change the articulator type here in the drop down menu. Maybe we can change it to a type A adjustable Artex style adjustable one. So, I need to do it again. Yeah, that's it. Click OK. And now, on the right upper side of the window, you see that I can check the articulator movements, protrusion, retrusion, lateral protrusion, left and right. Now I'll explain uh, the articulator add-on module completely in details in the uh, Exocad workshops that we have. So you can check them. Uh, okay, let's start with the outlines, margin lines of this model. Okay.
Yes. Here are the crown bottoms. I'm not gonna do anything here for this one. But yeah, as I see there are, there is a little space for the last molar that I have. Okay, the copy or mirror window, I don't need it for this case, so just click next. Here I'm gonna do the tooth placements, starting with the lower jaw. I remember always use the hotkeys for faster design. So I guess it is acceptable for now. Now let's do the upper jaw teeth. Remember that we are gonna also repeat the articulator movements for protrusion, retrusion, and lateral retrusion to see how the dynamic occlusion works. For this case, because it's a it's really a useful one. Usually, people always uh, check only the uh, static occlusion and not the uh, dynamic occlusion in the in the design software in the CAD software. But this is a very practical one. Now making them a bit smaller. That looks almost fine. Now the show distance is also enabled, so I see how this lingual cusp of the second molar is in the intersection. Click next. Let's see what happens. Yeah, now we are in the free-forming step, doing some add remove of smooth flattened one.
on a lower this lingual cost, but I guess they are just too little space between upper and low, lower jaw. So maybe I need to consult it with a dentist. Let's see. Okay, adaptation. You are playing a little bit with the line angles, point angles for a better look. I'm a bit too careful because I'm not gonna deform the whole anatomy. Let's see how the movements are now after adjusting all of them individual articulator. Okay, retrusion and maybe little lateral retrusion left or right. Now in the adaptation tab, now I have an extra option that is dynamic adaptation, dynamic occlusion check with the upper or lower jaw and let's do some intersection cut what I see in the second molar is that for the lingual cusp I can't go further this is the minimum thickness I guess uh, the minimum thickness uh, I signed it on dental DB on uh, 0 0.5 so that's a reasonable one you cannot reduce it so retrusion movement yeah I see here in some cusps there are some intersections I remove them with cut all intersections bottom in the adaptation window in free forming Yeah, let's see. Okay. Yeah, I see the red sign of the <laughs> minimum thickness here. Yeah. So it is free forming with the smooth. Let's see extrusion. Yeah, adaptation again, cut inter cut intersections. Yeah, this lingual cusp extrusion, yes. And it's really important to adjust the models good in the articulator to have a precise movement, otherwise it leads to some kind of mistakes. And then you lower some cusps, for example, as I see here in the lingual cusp, and then it, it doesn't work as it should be. Cut intersections again, free forming. Yeah, I'm gonna show you how little space here I have. Let's see, yeah. Drag slider. Later extrusion right, it looks fine, yes. Just some more free forming and we are almost 
ready with this case. Now for the upper jaw it is a bridge so I, I should also design the connectors but that's that will be the next step. Should be a little change, I guess. Yeah, let's check it with the antagonist with the lower jaw. Yeah, that's that's what I really like about the virtual articulator of ExoCAD. Yeah, everything is under the control. You can see all the movements in different, uh, all available movement of the jaw, let's say. You have the control of, yeah, designing the crowns, the height of the crowns, as it really should be. Okay, I click next. There is the insertion the direction for the upper jaw bridge. That looks good. Let's say we are going further. Yeah, we have no gingival design here in this case. Just click next. Also, no cutback design. next so I'm gonna work a little bit on the connectors and uh, do final free formings so please keep watching until the end and let me know about the questions in the comments and uh, yeah thank you for watching again good luck